Okay, since lots of students ask me about this question, uh, I think this is the SBM MF 2015, which is this year. Yeah, they, a lot of students say this is one of the hot questions or K KBAT questions. So yeah, I decided to make a short video for these questions. Yeah, so okay, let's do not waste your time. Okay, we go into these questions. The question says, Susan want to make a caps in the shapes of the cone as shown is the diagram 6.1 uh, the height of the cone is 24 so at least we have some information here we know the uh, we, we know actually the height of the cone is actually 24 all right and the diagram 6.2 show the nets of the cone uh, in the form of the sectors of the circle with the center o drawn on the rectangular card all right so basically yeah, you have a sector here. But what I want to mention here is the sector over here is just the curved area of the cone. It's not including the base and uh, it's not including the base of the cone. That's mean the sector that's mean this sector is not including the area of circle here. It's just the curved area. Right? That's mean it's just the curved area. It's not including the it's just the curved area. It's not including the area of circle. Right? Okay, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, then, okay, in order to solve this question, because this question, they ask you to calculate the minimum value for the length of the and, and width. So in order to find the length of width, yes. So you will need to do something is, at first you have to understand something like the slang height over here, the slang height over here actually is the radius. It's the radius of the sector. That means the slang height for this one is the radius of the circle. And the circumference of the circle, that means the parameter of the circle, is actually the art length. Actually, it's the art length of the sector. Alright, so you have to understand these two information because it's going to be very useful for you. Because a lot of students, when they see the minimum value, yeah, they will try to think this is maybe this is a differentiation question. Yeah, at the beginning, a lot of students say this question is very hard, so I thought it's a differentiation question also. But then, there's no way for us to actually form the equation. There's no way for us to like assume y or x into this equation. And yeah, so so in this case, I think it's just a circular measure question. And the minimum value over here, that means they want you to like round off your your, uh, your length and width, something like this. Alright, so do not waste your time. We go into the... Uh, the, the answer for part A. So what I will do is, of course I, I will need to find a slang height. So yeah, I will draw the cone over here. Okay, just a, ra just a random one. And I know the height itself, I know the height itself is 24. And I can know my radius easily. I just use the 17.8 divided by two. So I will get 8.9. And this is 24. So I can find my slang height easily by using Pythagoras. So I will say square root 24 square plus 8.9 square. So yeah, I, I can get this one by using the calculator. So my answer will be uh, 25.597. This one is very close to 25.6. So I just use 25.6 centimeter. Yeah, of course you want to use the three, three decimal place is fine also. But in this case, I just use the twenty five point six centimeter. So at least I know my radius over here is twenty five point six because I say the slang height is the same with the radius. So the second thing I want to do is I want to find the circumference of the circle because this one will be my art length of my sector. So in order to find the circumference, we know circumference equals to two pi r. So it's just 2 pi, my r is 8.9, so I can know my circumference easily, which is 2 multiple pi multiple 8.9. So I will have what I will have over here is 55.92. That means I know my art length over here is 55, not 25, sorry. So it will be, so it will be 55.92. Right, since I have all this information, I know I can find the angle easily because I have the art length and I have the radius. So yes, I can use the uh, 
arc length formula, S equals to R theta. Okay, my arc length is which is S is 55.92 and my radius is 25.6. I can find my uh, angle easily. So I will move my 25.6 to the other side. It just divide 25.6. So it's 55.92 divided by 25.6. So I can get my angle easily, which is 2.1844. Yeah, so yeah, this is 2.1844. So in order to make this question easier for students to understand, I will actually change it to the I will change it to the degree as well. But you can yeah, you can solve using the angle in radian as well. Yeah, but I just changed to the degree. So I will just multiply 180. I multiply 180 divided by pi. So I will get this is basically 125.16 degree. So, okay, so now I have the angle. But why I want to find the angle is because like this. The question will ask me to find my minimum length and minimum width. So for so I just assume I oops sorry I just assume the uh I just assume the width length over here is very 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 close to the radius. So if you see carefully they are so close. Uh let me see can I just erase without yeah I can just erase. Good. So if you see carefully you can find out that the width over here is so close to the radius of the circle. They're just like a little bit difference over here. So I can say the width is very close to the radius. And I have my radius. So I know the width is very close to 25.6, which is my radius. So if you ask me about the, my minimum length of width, I can say my minimum length of width is 26 centimeter. Right, because it's very close to 25.6. Okay, now I have the issue for length. Okay, length because this is radius. I know here is 25.6. So what I'm trying to do over here is I'm trying to find this length. Because what I understand is this length plus this length over here, I can get the I can get the I can get the value is very close to my length. So in order to find this length, and I find out I have a right triangle. Do you see a right triangle over here? So I, I will sketch the right triangle out to, to basically give you some idea. Oops. Oh, shit. Uh, just wait for a while. Yeah, so... Yes, I will try to do over here to give you more idea what is it. Okay, so I have the I have the total angle over here is twenty uh one two five point is one two five points one six. So if I want to form a right triangle over here, this one I will cut and become 90, de 90 degree. So one two five point one six minus ninety over here actually it, it will be thirty five point one six. Okay, so I have the right triangle look like this. The angle is thirty five point one six and then there's no way for me to know my adjacent because there's no way for me to know my adjacent but i can know my rate uh hypotenuse hypotenuse actually is the radius so hypotenuse is 25.6 and i can find my opposite easily using sine because sine is opposite over hypotenuse right so i will say sine 35.16 will equals to uh will equals to 25 point uh, x over 25.6 right so I can find my x easily I can find my x easily by using 25.6 multiple sine 35.16 yeah 14.74 so if I know my values of x over here that's mean if I know my x here and I know over here is 25.6. Yeah, I can I can know my length is very close to the x, which is 14.74 plus the 25.6. So it well very close to 
So the lengths were very close to, say I just plus them together, 25.6 is very close to 40.34. But in this case, because you want to find the minimum length, you cannot round it off to 40. Because if you round it off to 40, it might not enough space for you to actually make the, uh, the cone. So I would say it's very close to 41 centimeter. Yes, this is how I do the minimum length and minimum width. Okay, so this is how to solve the part A. So the part B will be very easy if you can solve the part A. The part B actually asks you to find the area of the cut unused. That means they want to find the unused area. Means they want to find the area outside of the sector. So in order to find the area outside of the sector, so my idea over here is just use the rectangle area of rectangle minus the area of sector then then you can easily do find the unused area so what i will do over here is okay i will use the space at the bottom maybe okay so yeah i want to use the a rectangle which i already found this is 41 and then this is 26 minus the sector sector i know my angle will be 2.1844 and i also know my radius is 25.6 so if i want to do the unused area unused oops no it's not n unused area so what i will do is i will use the area of rectangle which is 41 multiples 26 minus the area of the sector so it's half r square 25.6 square and the radian uh, the angle in radian is 2.1844 because for this formula you cannot uh, put your angle in degree all right so yeah this is just 41 multiple 26 minus 1 over 2 multiples 25.6 square multiple 2.1844 yeah so you will get the unused area will be, which is 350.22 centimeter square okay this is how we find the unused area but if after you find the un unused area which is red color uh, zone you want to know uh, is it makes sense or not you can try to find the area of the sector then you, you you're trying to see the the ratio is makes sense or not so if you find the area of the sector is very easy you use half multiple 25.6 square and then you multiple 2.1844 and then you can know the area of the sector you can know the area of the sector over here is 700 something seven 15.78 so if this the whole sector area of sector is 700 something the unused area is 350 is quite makes sense all right so so i think this question is a circular measure question and i think this is how you solve the part a and part b yeah because at the beginnings i actually try a lot of different methods to to actually work out the minimum value but there's no way for me to form the equation but i'm not 100 percent sure that my answer is correct Okay, this is just based on my common sense, not to say common sense, my mathematics sense, maybe. Yeah, I hope you find this, uh, v I, I hope you find this, v uh, this video useful. And yeah, if you have the correct answer, you can post a comment below or you can share with me in my Facebook page. Anyways, thanks for watching.